Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove built-in apps on your Windows 10 computer. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to go over how to remove a wide variety of different apps that might be included into your default Windows 10 installation. So I should caution everyone before you proceed with this tutorial, please read which programs are going to be removed. So I have a notepad file here. Now, none of these are going to corrupt the system in any way. I just want you guys to be aware of what you're uninstalling. So I've created a list of different commands we're going to be running into the Windows PowerShell window today. And I will have this in the description of the video. And I might create a separate notepad file I might upload to some website just so you guys can reference them if I can't fit them all in the description of the video. So let's just begin this tutorial and open up a Windows PowerShell window. So you want to type in Windows PowerShell into the star menu and best manager comes up should say Windows PowerShell right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now I have all these commands that I briefly mentioned a little while ago. Now you're going to just copy and paste whichever ones are more interesting to you. So let's say I want to remove this 3D builder. I don't have a 3D printer. What do I need that? So I'm going to just copy it like you would normally any text. And now on the top bar right here, I'm going to right click inside of it. I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to hit enter to run the command. It will begin uninstalling that app. And now you can do that for any of the apps that I have in the notepad file. There's quite a few of them. And I should note that this will take some time to run. Just be patient, even though it just says initialized, it will take a bit of time to run. So just be patient and you will know when it has finished removing that application. I would recommend restarting your computer once you have uninstalled them and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.